What's up ladies and gentlemen, the last tutorial we have learned how to change the outfit using artificial intelligence and this time we're gonna learn how to change the background using AI and the AI we will be using is stable diffusion. So I did not have any photos that had pretty bad backgrounds so I shot some footages of me in my own bedroom and they look absolutely garbage but we're gonna change that we're gonna change the background from a very uninteresting background to a very interesting one real soon so i will go through for all the steps one by one i have already recorded the video on how to do it and i'll be showing those footages but i will be i will go through them step by step so that all of you can understand on how to do it so the first step is going to be masking the footage so we mask the footage by using photoshop photoshop has a very unique automatic masking tool we use that and after we mask the footage we change the colors of the subject to white and change the colors of the background to black why is this required at the step one you will get to know real soon okay numbers two step two we open up stable diffusion yes that is our ai workhorse we open up stable diffusion and initially the page is going to look like this but then we're going to go to in painting and from in painting, we're going to go to in paint batch upload. Why is that? I'll let you know. Remember the mask that we made? We will use it here. So we will get two options. One to upload the real image. And the second option is to upload the masked image. So once it is done, Sable Diffusion knows that it needs to change only the white portion of the image. And we do know that we're going to change the background. So the white portion of the image is not what we want. So we're going to click on this button, which says in paint, not masked. So it reverses the entire thing. So everything that is black will be changed. Everything that is white will remain the same. So I will remain the same in this footage, but everything that is black behind me, it'll change completely. So coming down to the next step. So the next step is going to be typing down the text that we want. So initially I thought about using a deconstructivist idea. So deconstructivist is a kind of an art form which includes a deconstruction, ruined, uh, high-tech mm. art form, you can say. And I didn't really like that. The outcomes were pretty bad. So I tried to change those outcomes. So I tried to change. So I've changed my text into something that is going to be science fiction, of course, but I wanted the background to be in ruins. So I have introduced those texts that will be implying the same. I have written metal, rust, and then I have added these extra texts i have added these extra texts just to enhance the image and remember we have two boxes for text the first box that is the upper box is for the text that you want to be in the image and the lower box is going to be the negative prompts which means you're going to add those texts that you don't want you don't want it to be unrealistic you don't want it to be cartoon you don't want it to be of low quality so you write those down on the negative prompt and now we do the changes that have now we do the changes below, like we change the sampling steps from 20 to 30. We make sure that the ratio of the image, that is the width and the height, is also maintained down here. And after that, we go to the depth section of the control net. Control net is basically a way to tell uh, your AI that this image needs to be edited in this way. So, so like the tutorial before, I'll explain it again, that by using this depth of the control net, we make sure that the AI understands this subject is in the front and everything so the subject is behind. So it gets an idea of the depth of the entire image. So that's taken care of, we generate the images. Once we generate the images, we get a couple of images and I do like a few of them, not just one, I do like a few of them. So how are we gonna change the background? We're gonna open up Photoshop. So we take the images that we like, it could be one, two or three here. I like three images, so I took three of them. We take it to Photoshop, we mask out the main subject and we try to paint in the portion that we want to change. We do some erasing and painting, and then we get the final image of the background that looks like this. So initially it used to look like this, and we change the background entirely into something like this. Now to add a bit of sauce, a bit of panache, we change the outfit as well, and you get the final product that looks like. <laughs> Dark side, light this bitch up. 